Yo, what's up with it, y'all? It's JD, and I'm back with another quick video. In today's video, I want to talk about how we always need to be paying attention to the details. You know, whether that be in life or whether that's in working out, whatever the situation may be, you got to keep the focus on the details. Uh, what made me think about this was that I actually just came back from getting my hair cut. And it was one of the best haircuts I've gotten in a long time. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the dude paid very close attention to the details. He did his thing. And uh, I had a bad haircut experience when I was out in Rio, but now that I'm out in Salvador, De Bahia, I just like, you know what, let me see if I can give it another shot, get a haircut. Dude took his time, handled his business. And because of that, I appreciated it so much, I gave him a fat tip afterwards. And when it comes down to your craft or whenever it comes down to something that you're building, you always gotta pay attention to the details, whether that's, whether you're a barber, uh, whether you're an electrician, whether you're on your calisthenics grind, whether you're on your calisthenics journey, pay attention to the details. And something that I get in the comment section or just something I hear people talk about in general calisthenics a lot is like, oh, I could do 20 pull-ups or I could do however many dips or I can do, you know, a pull-up with X amount of weight on it. And it's like, that's cool and everything, but the numbers are one thing, but the details of how you do the movement is a whole other thing. So sometimes it's not necessarily about how many reps you can crank out of something. It's not necessarily about how many muscle-ups you can do if you're, you know, kipping crazy or something like that. I'm more impressed with people who can do maybe like two or three super strict muscle-ups or two or three, or maybe even just one super slow muscle-up. That's the type of details that you want to be aiming for. Um, but I'm getting a little quick workout in and nothing I'm really doing out here is like of any super high volume. I just kind of have some things that I'm really just kind of focused on working on. Actually improving my muscle up is actually something I am uh, consciously trying to do right now. Just because I haven't really been working on it and uh, I kind of just want to get a little bit more explosive on the bar. And also before I forget, I wanted to show a couple exercises. I had a question in the comment section the other day um, from, I believe the sister's name was Daisha Murphy. Always showing support, always showing love. I definitely appreciate it. And she had a question about uh, lower back issues. What type of exercise you can do to strengthen your lower back. I'm gonna give you guys a couple of those today. Number one, I'm gonna give you an actual lower back exercise, but I think a lot of the underlying problems when it comes down to your lower back being hurt or any type of lower back injuries, is that you don't have enough balance in your back core. And it might not necessarily even be your lower back, it might be your glutes. So I'm gonna give you an exercise for that in a few minutes. I'm about to get these pull-ups here. Like I was saying, attention to the details, and that's actually one of the details as well, is having a well-rounded workout plan. It's not always about pull-ups, push-ups, and dips. You can go on YouTube, you can see people doing a million push-ups, a million pull-ups, a million dips, and you know, super high volume or whatever it may be. And you know, that's not necessarily the best way to build a physique. For me, for me personally, when it comes down to calisthenics and what are the main reasons why I train, number one is physique. Like I'm not gonna sit here in front about it. I train to, you know, build myself up. I wanna build my body up. I wanna build my temple up. I wanna take care of myself. When I talk about these details, you know, I like having certain details on my body, whether it's my abs or my chest or my arms or whatever it may be. So that's probably the number one reason why I train. And then the number two reason why I train is to develop skills in calisthenics whether that be handstands back levers front levers whatever it may be in order to attain these you got to pay attention to the details as well and guys if you guys are interested in a detail oriented program hit up my website travelstanks.com and you can scoop up i have a basic a beginner's program called progressions 
That's an eight week program, detail oriented. It'll get you to that next level to where you can actually go in and do my next program, which is a super dope program that's got a bunch of different details. All different types of exercises that keep your muscles and keep your body stimulated, playing tricks on your body so you can kind of confuse those muscle groups. And uh, I got over 110 exercises on that on that workout program. That one's called the Body Weight Movement Guide. So go on my website and go scoop up one of those programs. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna get another set in real quick. Another thing I kind of wanted to chop it up about with you guys today, I'm all over the place with this video, to be honest with you. I actually have been kind of thinking about taking a break from making content, but what I'm gonna do instead of taking a break from making content, I'm just kind of gonna create content more in flow. You know, if something comes up in my life, you know, just like I kind of, that idea sparked about details from going to that barber shop. Uh, if something comes up in my life, I'm just gonna make a video about it. But that kind of ties into what I actually want to talk about next. And I'm a firm believer in a seven day a week mindset in terms of seven days a week being on your grind, seven days a week working out, uh, some sort of movement, whether that's running, whether that's calisthenics, whether that's playing a sport, it could be anything, yoga, whatever it is. Movement is medicine. Um, and staying on your grind is actually medicine as well for your mind. So I'm a firm believer in that. But something that I've actually kind of wanted to touch on is the fact that you don't always need to have your foot all the way down on the gas pedal. And for somebody like myself, that's kind of like a hard mindset not to be in. I always like to be going super hard when it comes to my goals. I want to be training super hard. I want to be editing a video every day. I want to be, you know, working on some type of content. And actually, since I've been out here in Salvador de Bahia, out here in Brazil, super dope spot. Um, actually, I'm gonna have some content coming pretty soon about my experience in Salvador and how much I actually like it here. And I kinda wanna do a compare and contrast for Salvador compared to Rio de Janeiro. But the thing about it is, is that, you know, my mindset lately just kinda hasn't really been in the mindset where I just wanna really be going super hard. I had some things pop up in my personal life and, you know, just kind of haven't really been super energetic lately, honestly. It's honestly been kind of uh, a struggle for myself to even like flip the camera on or even want to bring a camera around or, you know, honestly, it's been kind of a struggle to even go out and do things a little bit, you know, honestly, lately. I mean, it's just, I'm not in a super low state. I'm not gonna say it like that, but I'm just kind of in one of those modes where I'm just like, man, I kind of just want to rest and relax and kind of, think about things opposed to just feeling like I always need to go out and do things. And sometimes that's just a season in our life. It could be one week, it could be one month, you know what I mean? It's just kind of one of those time periods where you're not just going super hard at everything. But anyways, let me get another set. That's another thing. When it comes down to like skill training and when it comes down to training in general, not every single day you're gonna hit your personal record. Not every single day you're gonna come out here and you know hit 10 handstand push-ups or you know 10 muscle-ups or feel like you can do 25 straight pull-ups or whatever it may be. 
sometimes it's just one of those maintenance days or sometimes it's one of those days where you're working towards your goal but you're not necessarily pushing past you know maybe your all-time high so that's something to keep in mind and you don't always need to be in that mindset of being perfect all the time because perfect is definitely the enemy of good and when i say pay attention to the details i'm more so speaking about pay attention to your form pay attention to you know what i mean the programming that you're doing you know it could be just what you're programming yourself with in life or it could be what you're programming yourself with in fitness and calisthenics But anyways guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap this video up. But before I wrap this video up, I do wanna give you guys those two exercises. One for the lower back and one for the glutes. So those are gonna be two exercises that's gonna help you out in terms of balancing out that core area. Because the core is not just the six pack, it's not just the abs. The core is actually everything in this whole sphere right here. Your lower back, your glutes, your hips, your abs all of that that's all core so you got to make sure that you balance that core out don't just work one side or one one aspect of it so this is the first exercise for the glutes That exercise I call that uh, those glute raises so you could do that on like a park bench you could do it on these parallel bars this one's a little tricky because sometimes it kind of you know you can get a little pain there but uh, that one is for the glutes and then this one right that actually is gonna work the lower back as well but it really focuses in on those glutes this one right here is for the lower back um, I like to call these parallel bar back raises and uh, these ones hit super hard too. I'm gonna probably show you guys at a couple different angles because it might be difficult to kind of see what I'm doing here. exercise right there actually is going to help you out when it comes down to your transition if you're working on a parallel bar handstand so if you're doing a parallel bar handstand you actually have to go into that movement in order to get yourself up so it's basically raising your back up and eventually what you want to do is be able to raise yourself up completely so you can get inverted but anyways guys i'm about to finish up this workout just going to get a quick one in today working on some specific movements like i said kind of working on that front lever strength, trying to build that up, trying to get the explosiveness in the pull-ups so I can help out my muscle-ups and then working on these straight bar handstands. I haven't done these in probably shit since I've been to Hawaii more than likely. But uh, guys, hope everybody's having a great day out there. Hit my website up, that's travelsense.com. You can book a free consultation with me today. We can map out a blueprint for you to become the best version of yourself. So go ahead and take advantage of that 15-minute consultation for free. Hit my website up. You know, I enjoy talking to you guys and kind of working through some of your guys' problems and stumbling blocks when it comes down to calisthenics or whatever it may be. Uh, hope it, like I said before, hope everybody's having a great day out there. I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.